Hello everybody, and welcome to the series I promised you guys when I did my Judge Mathis on the game. And that is going to be because they fixed the save problem with a hotfix uh, a couple of days ago. Now, I'm not entirely sure how long the series is going to go. I'm saying something small, like four or five episodes, because in my opinion, the game is still... Uh, pretty bare bones. I'm just excited to play more of it because what's there is pretty damn polished But my goal is to show you everything I can and if it lends itself to something more than four or five episodes Then I will of course gladly continue. I'm just taking a rough Guesstimate as to what uh, this game is gonna present for us as far as longevity uh, If you don't know what the game is about I would suggest just going back and watching my judge Mathis on the game because I'm not gonna go through all the details uh, I am just gonna go ahead and play we will be uh, cutting through this part right here. Uh, I won't make you, well, yeah, we'll go through the cutscene. I don't know how long it's going to take to load. I don't want you guys to be sitting around while it's loading forever. So I will cut here and I will be back when the game is loaded. All right, so here we are back in the game. He's still clinging under my arm. Uh, what a beautiful flight we have. And soon enough, the front end of the plane is going to get ripped off. Game still looks, in my opinion, quite nice. I do like it. It looks good for a, uh, a Unity Engine game, in my opinion, as I've said. Oh, there it goes. Oh, look at all that stuff flying. The boy looks less scared than he should be. And nobody's on the plane, but it's fine. It's fine. We're here at our destination, son. We've arrived. It's a beautiful vacation land full of mountains and trees. Don't you worry about a thing. Everything's going to be great. Look at that. We're landing right now. Not even that bad. Everything's good. Oh, down we go. Okay, well... I passed out from the excitement of arriving, essentially, is what ended up, ended up happening there. Ugh. All right, we're good. Oh, hey there. Um, yeah, if you could help me up, that'd be great. All right, well, uh, yeah, he's cute. I'm aware. Could you just not take my boy? No. No, he's gone. All right, well, I'm going to take a nap. Okay. Now we should be waking up, and we're going to get right to surviving ASAP. So let's grab some stuff. Um, all the basics, uh, everything that we can pull out of here, we will. Eating everything that we can, healing up. And the the very first thing I'm going to end up doing is getting away from the site. Because the crash site actually draws the cannibals pretty quickly. Um, or the mutants or whatever the hell you want to call them. So we'll go ahead and grab our axe. We will uh, pop out. And uh, you, let's just get the hell out of here. Now the crash site is randomized every single time. As far as I know. But let's just go. I'm not even going to bother sticking around we can loot the crash site later I just don't want to have to deal with them um, so let's get a good distance away everything's looking pretty decent there's a stick so far so good what is this this is like a little pole sticking up what is that this is a nice little area over here very nice. Can I cut this down? I can. Can't do anything with it though. That's a weird ass looking tree. I'm thinking over here might actually be a good place to set up our first campsite. And the reason for that is it's on a hill. It's overlooking a nice area. Generally speaking, it's going to be pretty safe. Hopefully. So let's uh, immediately start grabbing a bunch of our, uh, a bunch of gear. And we can start uh, looking into plopping down our first area to sleep in. So let's go ahead and put it down. So let's hit the B. We'll get to the basics. Let's get a, a very uh, a lean-to shelter kind of up right away. We'll put it in this area right about there. Looks good to me. Probably should have scouted out a little bit um, of the surrounding area. And there's like a medical plants that I'm picking up too. Not sure what that's all about. But we will, of course, uh, look into that more. So let's go ahead and put in all the sticks. We need a few more rocks. We'll pick up more sticks. Keeping more, keeping sticks on us is going to be important, man. You don't even know. But we do need to find some rocks. So, and we have to chop down some trees. I'm thinking of keeping the general tree layout around us as it is, and not getting rid of too much of our cover. This is actually already hurt. Oop, lizard. We should be fine as far as food is concerned for a little bit, anyway. What is this? Can I not? Oh, no. Oh, we're actually near their campsite. All right, let's get out of here. All right, we got to go. This is a bad spot. I don't know how to block if I even can. 
Ah, he saw me. What? I'm gonna attack him. Only one is not big a deal. And we can probably take out one pretty easily. Let's, uh... There we go. We got him anymore. Oh! Fire, fire. Oh, I'm on fire. I think I'm on fire. I think I'm gonna die from fire. Oh, no. I'm good? We're gonna have to fix that. Alright, so he had a torch that... Whoa! Okay. Whoa, lots of mutants. Let's just get out of here. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'd rather not fight you. Oh, and they're so creepy. Like, they just watch me from a distance and stuff. If I could just avoid them. I should have looked a little further. Ugh. And the fact that they kind of just, like, stalk me and shit. Get out of here. Yeah, and they run, too. See, they have these... This, the AI for them is kind of weird. They either like to watch me or attack me. Let's just get her. And let's see. Let's make sure she's dead. All right, we got her. Ugh, I've got blood on me. Covered in blood. Whatever. Um, can we go back there and be okay now? I'm curious. I'm very curious. I kind of want to get rid of it. I wonder if I can actually just walk up to it and get rid of it. And I hope the- I wish the blood would actually wash off. If I can cancel this, I'm gonna get rid of this. This is not a good place, apparently. I didn't notice the little totem around there, so... I can't... I don't know if I hear them or not. It's a lizard. We might be good, actually. So let's finish it. Uh, is there any way I can get rid of this totem, though? Ah. Uh, Oh, I hear him. Oh, man. All right. Nope, there he is. There they are. Hey, guys. Whoa, there's so many of them. Oh, man, come on. This is not good. All right, why am I even bothering? Let's just get out of here. F it. Let's hope they don't follow me. They are. He is, at least. They sit so awkwardly, like, by the sidelines and just watch me. I don't like it. And they kind of, like, surround me, too. It's super creepy. All right, we need to keep moving. Dude, just leave me alone. Yeah, all right, whatever. I'm going to attack him. That's fine. Like, one mutant at a time is super easy to take care of. In fact, I think it's a little bit too easy. Alright, good. He's dead. I think I got him. Let's go. Let's keep moving. I've got a ton of blood on me. This will be a good area to turn around and see if they're following me in. Looks like we're safe. Okay. Oh, no. This is like a village of theirs. Shit. I should just go through it. Cut, try to cut to the other side. Oh, man. Now, stay in the woods. Stay in the woods. Stay in the woods. Hopefully they won't see me. I don't see any of them around. They could be anywhere. Keep moving. Pick up the sticks and stuff. Rocks. Basically everything I'm going to need. We have to make a new shelter. Get rid of that. We could make a... I wonder if we can swim. That's actually something I don't know about. If we could swim... 
There's a tent over there. That makes me think that we can indeed swim. Maybe a, um, a beach hut would be a little bit better for us. We'd have a lot more to, uh, visibility. We could see a lot further. And we only know they could come from like one of uh, like a very particular direction too. I wonder if there is a beach somewhere, in the, but there's got to be a beach somewhere nearby. I already have max sticks and max rocks. What is that weird blue flashing that happens? Trees growing out of a rock, you know, standard. All right, there's actually a beach up here. Okay, perfect. All right, a little bit of a glitch. Mm-hmm. Well, let's get into this water here. Water is completely glitched out. So water doesn't work so well, which is surprising. If they're going to add the mechanic of getting covered in blood, you should probably have the mechanic to wash it off readily available. Huge island. Actually, this might be a good area. Wide open, I can see a lot. Let's go ahead and put another one down. Stop panting, dude. I know you're hurting, but... Let's go ahead and put that down. So we got both down. Alright. Um, let's open our inventory. Let's see if we can re replace some of our stamina here. There we go. Whew. All right, that was a rough beginning, uh, but we were able to get away, which is nice. Birds, they're kind of dumb in this game. Start chopping down some trees. Let's get some sticks and some more rocks up. And uh, keep an ear out more particularly for the enemy. There we go. This is a big-ass tree. I'm curious. I think all trees only give four logs as of right now, no matter how big they are. I presume that that's going to change in time. Come on. Down you go. Let's just take the sucker down. Perfect. And down she goes. One. Yeah, it's only... I don't know how many I can carry. I can only carry two at a time, I think. But luckily, I am basically Superman, and I can run at full speed no matter what. So let's go back up here. See if we can see it. See if we can see the logs. Uh, physics got rid of them on me. No idea where they bounce to. It's fine. We only need another tree down for now, just to get our basic shelter up. There it is. Down you go, buddy. Come on. Maybe like one more. Oh, thought that leaf was a fucking mutant. Almost jumped out of my fucking pants. We're good, though. There we go. I was like, yeah, are we going to turn into usable logs or not so much? Ah, that foliage popping. Okay. So we don't need any more. We just need... Oh, no, we do need more. I'm a dinglehorn. I didn't realize we actually needed a lot more. How many rocks? Do we need any more rocks? Is that what we need? Or do we need twigs? We just need twigs. Which we can easily grab over here. Am I... I'm swimming at this point. Well, it looks like the blood did get washed off, so maybe it did work. And the water's just glitchy looking and acting. Let's grab some more sticks. We need them. Chop these suckers down. There's a couple logs that have rolled down due to physics, which is nice. Grab a few more, and we should be good. Grab these. I'm going to keep grabbing trees up there, um, if only because they have a better vantage point up there. And at the same time, they do roll down. So that's useful. So I need, what, four more logs. Here's one. Just need uh, three more. Thought I saw two rolling. Yep, there's another one. 
Now, there should still be two more around that I can grab, but not entirely sure where they are. So far, the mutants have, we've lost them. We killed three. And the others kind of just left us alone. I, I kind of like, and it definitely creeps me out, that they are very willing to just kind of sit on the sidelines and watch and what appears to be study me. I don't know if that's just dumb AI, um, but the effect it has is, is pretty creepy. Either way, I want to check this out. I feel like I'm seeing something over here. Probably nothing. Sticks. Could have come over here for sticks, but... Alright, let's just go ahead and chop down, um, let's go get closer. On the hill, chop down a tree. Just need, what, two more, right? So, we should be fine. Less trees for them to hide behind if they come from the top. Can I just hold down the clicking button? Nope. Gotta click. Gather ten logs. I think it's because I have two campsite set up right now and I don't know if there's a way for me to get rid of the other one there it is down she goes curse blunk there we go so this should give us our shelter at the very least then we'll get a campfire up after that yes Shelter. So we got a shelter here. And if we really, really need one, we've got one over there. Um, but next step is going to be a fire. So let's go ahead. Put the fire down. So we just need enough there. Light that sucker up. Birds chilling. Got a fire. And now we got some foraging tool tips. But now. We could do some basic stuff. So we could do like a temporary shelter if we need one. Um, we could do a cabin eventually. But I think for now it's going to be log holder. Just to get this up and running. Um, we need sticks. Which we can grab pretty readily. But getting a log holder is going to be good. Because I can just like bring these over and drop them. In fact, while I see them, let's actually go get them. And uh, we'll bring over a couple logs. Just put them nearby. There we go. And we'll just uh, have them at the ready to use when we need them. And we'll grab some sticks. I feel like that's a good idea. Let's go ahead and drop these. Beautiful. Alright. I'm going to go find some sticks now. Um, we, could, we should be able to easily get some in here, I feel like. But... It's a lot of, like, what I assume is poppy. Sticks not so readily available on this side of the island, apparently. No, oh, there are some. It looks like by the trees I could find some if I really wanted it. I'm gonna have to start looking at getting rabbits and stuff trapped for a food source. Oh, you're effing shitting me. They're right there. They're not. Well. I mean, they're a good distance, but they're going to see my fire at night. I, if that AI is even built in. Um, you would think that, that gonna, they're going to see my fire at night. I'll put it that way. It would make sense that they did. So I'll go get sticks across from over there. I have rust syndrome going on where I feel like I'm hearing. I feel like I'm hearing footsteps when I'm really not. Uh, it's getting dark, too. We need to go to bed soon. Though, I don't know if at night they're just going to come and, and knock me out, because that's something that's been known to happen. But at least it'll save the game. I need to eat, too. Alright, we've got enough sticks. Let's go put this down. We'll store our logs. And we'll get our character to sleep as uh, the end of episode one. I hope you guys are excited for it. If you are, you know what to do with a brand new series like this. The best thing to do is just to show your support. is just to like it and watch it. That's pretty much all I require. Uh, I'm very curious to see how this is going to go. Hopefully it goes well. 
Ah, this isn't working the way I was hoping it would. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, what I'm supposed to do. It's not clipping. I don't know. All right, but we'll end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying it, like I said, you know what to do by now. Oh, I'm on fire. Uh, water. Yeah, there we go. Uh, perfect. Um, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.